Hey guys, it's Conman, and I'm on the Diamond Fire server right now. Uh, I I went on the forums and I asked people for suggestions for tutorials to make on here, and um, yeah, I'm starting a series on doing them. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one from Patrick. What's his numbers? One five three three five, and he asked uh, for a tutorial on custom foods. So I was like, hey, that sounds pretty uh, possible. I'll try it. And I made my own custom foods. It's not here. I deleted it. Um, so I can go through with you guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, if you've not played Diamond Fire, it's basically a server where you can make your own mini games with a coding system right here. All these things. And you build your games, you can play other people's games. It's pretty good. Let's get right into the tutorial. So, so far I added a player event, and it's for whenever the player joins. It'll give them this, which is basically, I named it Chocolate Bar, since it's going to be a custom food. And I, I'm going to set the food level all the way down to one hunger bar. Oh, and also, I, I forgot to mention this, but... For every one there is in a number, that's a half of a food bar. So two is two halves of a food bar, which is one whole food bar. So it's going to say you're down to one food bar. Now right here I said, so when player right clicks, if the player is holding a chocolate bar, um, and now I'm going to continue. So if the player is holding the chocolate bar, then it's going to remove it'll remove a chocolate bar. It's gonna play sound. I, I'm doing this because like this is optional if you want a sound, but I like a sound. I'm gonna do the eating sound. And then it will set it, it's gonna set the food level alright now we're gonna take out a value and a number so it's gonna set the food bar to the current food level along with an extra let's say one and a half so it's gonna heal you one and a half food bar if that makes sense I think it does the next this is just an idea I had. It's going to give you a 33% chance or 1 in 3rd chance of getting a sugar rush where you get speed. So, I'm going to set a variable. So we're going to grab a variable out. I'm going to do at ran I mean percent random 1 dash I mean 1 comma 3 and so that means it, it randomly picks a number in between one and three. So one, two, or three. You can pick one of those, okay? So we're gonna put that in there. And if if that number is equal to one, which is the lowest number then it will give you the sugar rush okay so let's um, give potion effect select speed um, let's do eight seconds if you if you want to use a different number of seconds you just do zero semicolon then how many seconds you want and I'm pretty sure this zero right here if you want it to be multiple minutes this is where you put the minutes so 12 minutes and 10 seconds but I think 8 seconds is a good amount of time for having speed 2 so I put that time then and I put 2 for speed 2 so I'll give you speed 2 for 8 seconds 
and let's say it tells you that you got a sugar rush. Alright. So that that's this if variable. But after that, if the variable is greater than or equal to 2, so if it's 2 or bigger, then it does nothing. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's about all. Wait, oh, I, I forgot to put the variable in. I only put the number in. Alright, sorry. I'm glad I caught on to that. So now it should be good. So let's go into play mode. Every time I right click the chocolate bar, it'll give me a one and a half food bars up. And it'll also have a 33% chance of giving me speed. You got sugar rush. See? So I think that does it for this tutorial. Of course you don't have to do what exactly what I did. You can do different potion effects, different amount of food that it gives you. You can have ways to obtain the food. Just use your creativity. Make cool things. So I think that's it for this video. Peace out.